What's going on guys? Jump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy, having a great day. So today we're going to be going over this meter box. We're going to teach you how to wire it up and I'm going to give you an honest review of the actual unit itself. So looking at this unit, for one, it is super crisp and it just smooth all around, unlike the 3D printed ones. Um, one thing I noticed off the bat, it doesn't have those side tabs. It has flush mount screws for pretty much any angle you want to screw this thing to either a stud or directly through the back um, also this is changeable like you can move it around in different angles so the port wire can come in from the top the left right whatever it doesn't matter how you angle it and then this plastic is very high quality I don't know if you've ever uh, bent a piece of plastic or like hit one that's turned white when it bends it doesn't break that's probably the plastic that this is made out of. It seems uh, it seems super durable, just kind of looking right there where the injection mold was. That's kind of the break off point. So you can just tell that this is a high grade plastic and you're probably not gonna have any issues. Um, and then the last thing I wanna talk about is the fact that how deep this actual box is. It's so much deeper than the 3D printed models that we see around the mining space. So that's a huge plus for me. All right, so now that we went over the meter box, let's look at all the tools and parts that you guys are gonna need to actually get this wired up. So right here I have my iFixit kit. This is what I use for pretty much everything, Phillips head, flathead, Allen wrenches. This has everything I need. It's the small as an eyeglass kit. It just works perfect. So I'm gonna use that. If you guys would like or be interested in that, you can go check out my Amazon affiliate store. I will leave a link down in the pinned comment below. Then you guys are gonna need some three prong outlets depending on what your PDU is or what you're trying to do. You can either get a 20 amp version. This is a three prong rated for 250 volts. As you can see, 20 amp, and there is the model number if you guys need it. Then we have a 30 amp one. This is the box that it comes in right here. This is also a three prong plug that is rated for 250 volts. This is an L630 if you guys are interested in that model number. Then we have this right here. This is a six pin by SATA. I am just going to steal the wires from this guy right here. Everybody should have these from, you know, the risers you guys purchase for your mining rigs. You need some sort of wire strippers and cutters. So I recommend these Husky ones. I mean, I will leave the tools in the tool section of that store as well. And then I like to have some electrical tape and a razor knife to help me out. And then obviously the best part is the Drock AC power meter. So this is a current uh, monitor basically. It reads the amps coming in, the voltages going out, like all that stuff. So this is obviously the entire reason you guys want to set up your own meter box. All right, so this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's got one green wire hanging off of it. This is the box that comes in. You can see it says AC 80 300 V. So this is good for up to 300 volts, which is perfectly fine for 240. So if you guys are looking for that, there it is. Looking at this meter, again, it has this green wire and this current reader. This is where one of the hot legs actually goes through. I'll show you guys exactly how to wire that up. The little dot right here on the right hand side of this screen is to stay to the right side so it always reads correctly and it's not upside down so that's just a little pointer for you guys all right that's that now because i'm going to be wiring up a 30 amp 240 volt plug i am going to need some 10 gauge wire see it says 10 awg this is just a flexible wire that I got cut by the foot at the store. You guys can do the same. For this, you gotta obviously strip it down. I use my razor knife for that. Literally just cut along the actual edge, get the outer casing off. What you wanna do is separate it, peel it back. It's pretty, pretty simple. Then obviously all this cardboard, this is all in there just to keep the uh, wire itself strong but this can all be cut back. You don't need any of it. So. so now that you have the outer casing stripped back and the cardboard all cut, I'm gonna take this meter box right here and we are going to feed the wires through. All right, so typically you would put some sort of connector to hold the wire in, but again, this is just for demonstration purposes only. And quick disclaimer, I'm not an electrician. Please do this at your own risk. I am just showing you how I typically wire one of these boxes. So. I'm gonna pull the wire through just to give me some uh, slack to work with it because we still need to strip these wires back. So let's take our wire strippers right here and we are going to just strip the outer casing on each wire. 
All right, so now that you have all three stripped, I like to twist these up just so they're nice and tight. All right, so I'm gonna put this box right here just for a minute. Now, I'm gonna take this guy right here. Again, we're gonna steal the wires from this. So I'm just going to cut off the SATA end. All right, now we have all these, and I'm gonna do the same thing with the six pin. I'm gonna cut off that end. So now you have all these yellow and black wires. You only need one of each for this, at least that's how I do it anyways. So I'm gonna throw the other ones aside and we're gonna strip both sides of this wire. All right, so after you strip these wires, you can see I stripped this side right here, super long compared to this side. So these two are gonna be going into the side of the drop meter and these two right here are gonna be twisting around the two hot legs on this actual wire right here. So I wanted to have enough, you know, length to go around the entire thing a couple times. All right, so now that these two leads are tight and they're not coming out, we will take this green current reader and the drock meter. We're gonna feed it all through the faceplate. So these two wires and that gonna slide in and push. And wow, that's awesome. So another nice thing, these face plates have the groove to fit the drock meter. These little tabs on the 3D printed ones, you need to cut these things off, which is a pain in the butt. So awesome. All right, this is all good to go. Now we're going to loosen the screws on each side of this L630 amp plug. Obviously the green is the ground and the other two are both the hots. All right, so now we're gonna take the wire and the plug and we are going to install the ground first. That's typically what I like to do. All right, so that's all connected. Now we have obviously the two hot legs. Typically this is a neutral, but in 240 volts, you don't have a neutral, you just have two hots. So each one carries 120 volts. So now we're gonna take the circle from the drock meter and we're gonna feed it over the white wire. Then we're going to take the yellow wire and we're going to twist it alongside the white. All right, so once you twist the yellow and the white ends together, I snipped it back just a little bit so it wasn't as long. And you have to feed the yellow and white into one of the hot screws, just like so. Tighten it up, just like that. So again, the circle goes over the white. One of the leads from the other side of the drock meter goes to one of the screws with it. Then we're gonna take this black wire from the green port on the drock meter to the other black wire, which is the other hot feed, and we're gonna screw it into the opposite side of the plug. And there it is, kinda looks like a horrible mess, but it's really not. Again, black to black to one of the screws, yellow to white to one of the screws with the circle going over the white. So now that we have that all wired up, what I like to do is take this entire thing and I wrap it with electrical tape personally. All right, so now that all my endpoints are electrical tape and covered, I will take this actual plug and we will put it right here. So this is pretty much what the end result is going to look like. They have some screws and nuts for the back side of the actual outlet itself. Then you more or less pull the wire back to get everything into the box and this thing unlike the 3d printed ones fits perfect like there's plenty of room for it all to fit the 3d ones you really got to jam everything in but this is great i love it this thing looks absolutely phenomenal i cannot wait to get the rest of these set up as you can see right there and they're going to be going in my grow tent setup so stay tuned for that video just before i let you guys go i wanted to let you know for the month of march we're going to be partnering up with the meter box company they're actually going to be giving away an 8 gpu server case on my channel which is amazing. It's gonna be decked out with 2,400 watts of server PSUs, gonna have a full eight GPU riserless motherboard and literally everything you need except for the GPUs to start your own mining rig. So that's amazing in itself. Purchasing these meter boxes, every $5 you spend on their website, you get one entry. But if you purchase the chump green color, you guys literally get double the amount of entries that you would normally. And not to mention, I do have a 10% discount code. It is chump, I will leave it down in the pinned comment and in the description below. You guys must use the link that is in either of those to actually get entered into this contest. But hopefully you guys enjoy that.
As always, if you haven't already, please go down here, hit this like button, don't forget to subscribe. And if you guys haven't seen this video or this video, please go check them out and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.